and hello everybody, we're on the air. Yay! Or so it says. <laughs> hello and welcome to another edition of uh, Human Colony Hookalo TV Saturday webinar. Today we have Jim Charles with us, and Valerie is here assisting, and myself, Guru Dan, here to bring you this stuff. So let's uh, let's get started with Valerie. Valerie, could you uh, let everybody know who's around? Sure. Thank you, Dan. And today we have joining us Michelle, Nabila, Neil, Sam, Shiny Sean, Sheer, Will, and myself. And Jim, would you like to introduce who's with you today? Yes. In the room today is Angie and Nathan, or or Nate, if you want to call Sandy and Mark, Mark Zinzo. We have a couple different Marks, so I'll say the Mark Z. But yeah, they're both Mark Z, Mark Ziegler and Mark Zinzo. But this one's the Mark Zin Zinzo Z. Yes, welcome everybody. Did I miss anybody? No, I think I got everybody. Okay, perfect. And today, and you've already, go ahead. I was just going to say, and today we would like to see just who comes in. Uh oh. I did not hear a word you said. Okay. Hmm. Try again. Can you hear me now? Yes. Perfect. All right, let's see who wants to come and see us today. Okay, very good. We did take some requests earlier before we turned it on live, so there were several requests for a lot of different people, so we'll see who comes today. Um, have a wonderful session, everybody. Oh, do you want to start with a blessing, anyone? I can, in Hebrew. Ah, oh, well, wonderful, do that. מי יתן, ובמשה הזו זה יתן אלה באור, מי יתן לכולנו את מה שאנחנו צריכים ברגע שאנחנו צריכים את מה שאנחנו רואים בבנדנס. אני מבקש מהאחד ומהיוצר ומהאלוהים לבוא לפה ולתת לנו את אורם ועזר לנו בעזרת כוחם. אני מבקש גם משלמה להגיע. תודה רבה, הרבה אהבה, הרבה תודה, תודה, תודה. Um, I said mostly thanks for everything uh, that the Divine and the Elohim help us and okay. ask for peace and ask for the best uh, message to come through. Oh, excellent. Yes, that's what we really need is the best messages to come through. That's, that's always what we ask for. So thank you very much. That's excellent. So I'm going to do a little meditation right now. And uh, welcome everybody, and we'll see who comes through today first, or maybe only, we don't know. It's, it depends on how many people are waiting in line. All right. Have a wonderful session, and I'll see you in a while. Greetings, I am Dekur. Ah. Hello, Dekur. How is everyone today? Well, very well. 
you have any messages for us today? Actually, I did come to say that there is someone else in charge of the hybridization programs. It was much too much for me to undertake all the different things that were going on on the ship and in the galactic area and on Earth and also take care of that program as well. I've handed it off to a very competent Fendorian lady. Her name is Sengi. She will now be in charge of all the, the questions concerning hybridization and the children, etc. Um, there has to be several reports made and there's much involvement has to be done with the hybridization program to keep it running properly. And there has been things that have been happening that have actually fallen through the cracks, if you will like to say it that way. That is an expression from Earth, I believe. <clears throat> and so this will tighten up these loose ends that have been found in the program. And I find it a wonderful relief in some ways because there are so much other things to do. Are there any questions about that? Sure, did you want to go? Hey, I have a question not about the subject. Ah, continue. How are you, Chika? I am very well, thank you. And how are you, Sheer? I am wonderful. Um, lately I saw some reports in different uh, groups on the net that claimed that the Cabal fell, like it was, it was destroyed and we won the war. Can you maybe expand on that? If it is any truth to that? There, there actually is no truth to that because for the Cabal to fall would be the destruction of the Earth in some ways. They hold many of your financial systems up, and they are also in high control in many places. Therefore, if the control was destroyed, there will be several presidents of companies that would also fall. This is a rumor just to keep your mind away from the cabal. It is a trick. They are as much in power as they ever were, and they are not at a loss. They are actually in control in many places, just like the Anunnaki. They, they run the planet in their own way. If they find a place where they do not like the way things are done, they will find a way to cause subtle changes until eventually it comes around. But no, the Cabal has not fallen. I see, and in order for it to fall, it's actually the global economic restart in 2022. That is the purpose of it, right? I am not sure of the purpose. You mean of the cabal? Of the economic uh, collapse in a couple of years. Ah, the karmic collapse will happen no matter who is in charge because eventually the economy will not be able to sustain itself and will implode actually. So therefore that is not necessarily the work of the Cabal or the Illuminati or any of these secret societies. It is only what has happened because the earth has overextended itself in many ways. Now they have been part of that factor in the sense that they have helped to overextend it. However, they are also trying to hold it up so that they can take charge whenever it does collapse. And they are not to a point at this time to take over, so they want to keep it afloat for a little while longer. Okay, thank you, and I will pass the mic. Much, much love to you. Much love to you as well. Hello, Takur. Yes. Guru Dan, how are you? I am well. I am doing fairly well. Um, do you have any other announcements that you'd like to finish before we get fully into questions? 
No, I think that was the major announcement that I wanted to make. Sangi is doing a wonderful job, but is still getting uh, situated and organized. But okay. you may ask her any question you wish. I believe that she is organized enough to answer all your questions. Okay, we will approach that a little bit later. I'd like to get to the questions from uh, the pages because uh, many have been slipping through. So I have some um, some questions from Slava. It says hello to Excellent. her. I'd like to ask hello. if you have any news for his mother. Uh, he wonders if she received the DNA infusions and perhaps a Lyran daughter was born. That's a question. And if it was, then she would like to give the name of the daughter uh, Arena, A-R-I-N-A. -A. Excellent. Yes, the infusions were, the Lyran infusion was complete. And, and she took it very well. The Lyran child is not quite born yet, but will be born soon. But the name Arena will be given. Wonderful. He also adds, and recently she remembers holding a child. Um, it was a male child with brown skin and golden eyes. He believes yes. it was his Syrian child and wants to know if that is correct. That is correct. And, um, okay, and then some thanks. And then he says, uh, excuse him for such a question. But if it's possible, could you please give a short update about his DNA infusions? He knows he has some, but he doesn't know the percentages. He believes it would help him uh, see uh, which aspects are uh, more dominant. He's uh, just curious about his DNA stuff. Well, there has been some changes in his updates. They have given him everything that he has asked for. The Octorian is at 6%, the Pleiadian 6%. Actually, these are a little higher than what he asked for. Octor uh, the um, Yu Yil is at seven, so I can give him the rest of the numbers later. But those are the highest of the numbers. Okay, wonderful. <coughs> let's. Um, the let's... Syrian is also fairly high at five. Hmm. Okay, let's go to Christine because that kind of rounds out all of uh, Slava's questioning for now. Christine wants to know. Um, can you ask her if all the barbs and implants from the Lyran handler have been removed and his influence? Uh, she, so she wants to know she's free from um, some implants and things that were going on with her. Are you aware One of moment. any of that? Okay. One moment and I will check. All her requests have been answered. There are no more implants within her. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm sure she'll be glad to hear that. Um, if, she is still, if she is still experiencing any discomfort or anything of that nature, it will subside. Okay. Um... I'd like to add, Christine, if you're having any other complications, get with me and we'll do another healing and uh, sort things Excellent. out. That will work. I um, have a question from a lady named Sharon. She says, Namaste. have been listening for some time and thought I'd ask, what connections do you see for her? I have no idea if I have any children or even from what civilization she's a part of. Any answers will be enlightening. Thank you so much. So kind of a basic introductory questions from Sharon wants to know kind of you know, how she's perhaps carrying on with the colonies or whatever other information you can give her just a quick um, any of ideas course there are some, there are some hybridizations within her you Hill and Pleiadian um, are the most common of the two however she has a does have a star seed in the Sirius system hmm. and Andromeda. Hmm. I'm surprised that those are not part of her DNA core. But she does have some other uh, definite starseed connections. 
kind of sounding like it would be a good idea for her to send Jim an email, and then maybe uh, she can get into a few more personal questions about that as well. Yeah, if, if Jim would be up for this that is communication. more of a time for the group than for individuals. Yes, yes. So let me um, let me pause at that for the more um, personal questions for now, and let's get back to um, the groups here. There seems to be some uh, trouble with the microphones today. No, is my you microphone go, being going right? in and out? I might be going in and out because my fan might be blowing across the mic a little bit because it's a little warm here. But I see. Um, yeah, so I moved it down a little bit more. So if it cuts out again, it's just air. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. I All right, so let me uh, let me problem. get back to Valerie and uh, see what else is going on here. Thank you so much, Dakar. Thank you. Okay, I just want to make sure that no one there in the room with you has a question. If we can ask. Anyone here have a question? It, it would appear that no one in the room has okay. a question. Then we'll go with Michelle. Michelle, greetings. Good morning to her. Good morning. Much love. Um, you opened by saying that uh, you saw or caught some things happening with the hybrid children. Um, yeah. I was just curious as to what that was or if it could be sure. There were some hybrid children being born that were not given permission by the parents to have children and therefore there was a problem with that. They are now monitoring all the inquiries from the parents. Right. To and keeping track of them. If there are children that no one is inquiring about, these will be investigated because it could be that they are children that the parents did not give permission for the child to be born. So, for instance, um, many months ago, you told me I had a hybrid child and I asked, said, excuse me, because <laughs> I had no knowledge of any such a thing. Correct. Um, this is not proper <sighs> protocol any longer. If, you're, if your child is older than three year, two years old, then mm -hmm. there were programs out there taking DNA without people's permission. But since the humans are now aware of the hybridization program it is only proper that we ask permission if they want to have a child before taking their DNA and just doing it this yeah. is proper protocol at this time we do not want to have children being born that are not wanted by their human families after first contact all the children that are hybridized will be visiting their parents on earth eventually and if it is a surprise that you have a hybrid child, this is not a good thing. Well, it would be a surprise if I have a hybrid child, so I guess I'll go ahead and ask, do I have a hybrid child or more than one? Well, the thing is, Sengi has those records. One moment, please. ashu. <laughs> It would appear that you do. One? Just one. Pleiadian? Yes. Do you want to name it? Is it a boy or a girl? It is a boy. Wow. Um, Lachlan. L -O -C -H -L -A -N. How do you spell that? L-O-C-H-L-I-N. I, I did not get the first three letters. L O C H L I N. Kikarak Washanti. Thank you. It is noted. Thank you very much. Much love to you. He is two years old. <laughs> what is he? Can you tell years. what he looks like? <laughs> yes, he is very bright and very interesting. I cannot see him right now, but I will let you know. Interesting, like his mother. Um, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Much love to you. Tikawakashindiata. Are there any other questions? 
Yes, there are a couple of questions, but but to her, I'd like to take this opportunity to let people know that the hybrid child program is not the only reason to offer DNA to the colonies. That there is a this portion, is there is a portion of the colonies where you can donate your DNA for the purpose of medicinal reasons to help other races, other civilizations, other beings, that when you offer your DNA to the colonies, you can specify if it's for the hybrid child or if it's for medicinal. That way, anybody who wants to help with galactic things going on can offer their DNA for that kind of thing. Yes, there are some species in desperate need of human DNA. It seems to be a stabilizing factor in some uh, species physiology. Some species have intellectualized themselves into a very weak state. Not, not that they are going to be extinct soon, but they need more of a physical body, they need more strength in their system, they need more resistance to viruses and disease. And therefore, the human hybridization helps them with this, at least most species. We have discovered there are some species that will not be helped by human um, hybridization. However, most of them are helped. Uh, most humanoids. Yeah, thank you, Tucker. And, and just quickly, um, our friend Bill Windsor uh, has been asking about his uh, infusion? Has, has he been activated? Complete. It has been complete already, so he's in good shape? All right, that was yes. that was the only thing I had on that. Thank you so much for answering these more personal questions. It is all right. We will move forward. Hello, Tico. This is Neil. Neil, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well. Thank you for your work. Yeah, thank you for everything as well. I appreciate it a lot. Um, so yeah, I was wanting to ask a question about the Elo Shanda Zendai. Uh, do I have a, a, a second child with them? Not quite yet. If you want one, then you may request it. Okay, that's okay. I don't want to request one just yet. Okay, yes. so uh, that, that was the only question regarding that. One other thing I'm curious about, the Fendorian that you're working with, Sengi, what, did, what color is she? I really don't. Oh, excellent! One, one moment, please. Kigoro Wakashinte Wakata. Ah, yes, she is one of the more green Fendorians. Oh really? Oh, that's beautiful. Huh? Okay, that's all the questions. Okay, to I was you. wondering what you were, what you meant by that. But color is yeah. not something we discuss much, but that is all right. Yes. Yeah, okay. It's just I know that the Fendorians are all different colors. Yes, they are. They have many different colors on Fendoria. That is correct. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much, Dakar. Thank you uh, to you and to everybody else in Gothic Near. So thank you much, love. Thank you. I appreciate your questions. Is there anyone else or should yes, someone Nabila. else come now? One moment. Nabila, would had one question, please. Nabila. Hello, Dakar. How are you? Hello, Nabila. <laughs> um, I'm just curious. Do I have a hybrid child? Not yet. Okay. We have your... You have given us some of your DNA material, but we do not think that you should have a hybrid child quite yet. Yes, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> that is all right. I believe that that will be a wonderful thing one day, but not at the moment. Yeah. You are still so learning much about who you are and developing all your gifts and skills. Yes, thank you. You are welcome. Angie. Yeah. Oh. Angie has a question. Okay. One moment. When you were talking about the different species wanting our DNA or the hybridization for um, the purposes of helping them in regards to illnesses. Are, 
do they get that information? Do they get the DNA from you, or do they just come to us directly and take it? No. No. We bring it into our laboratories and specify it for their, as an inoculation, as you would call it. This would be to help them with their different systems. But yes, it has to be actually uh, synthesized slightly to help specific races. However, your DNA is very helpful in that it does not need to be synthesized very much to be able to be given to other species and be very effective. Does that make sense to you? It does. So they come, they come to you to get that? They have, yes. There are three species that we are concerned about at this time and we have given them uh, some several thousand inoculations to see how the the first group responds and so far things are looking very promising their rates of improvement have been very good it, there are much more scientific terms for what we are doing however I will keep it simple for now Hello, Dakar. Yes. As I got a question regarding a hybrid child, um, in one of my um, meditation, a hybrid child visited me by surprise, and I don't know who it was. Can you tell me who that is and what was the purpose of uh, visiting me then? It wasn't your child, was it? I do not know because I, I'm not aware of that. I see. One moment, and I will check that out. When was this approximately? Um, probably about a month ago. About a month ago. Yes. Ikara kashun tipe sengi kapasha buti sushu naikyo kond shanti. Is this Sam? Yes, it's Sam. Yako chamu kitiya taso. They will check on that for you. Thank you. It was not your child. But this was a child that you have been connected to. One moment. Okay. This child was bringing you information. I do not know if you received it in the physical, but your subconscious has received a message from this child, which is very important to you. It does tell you something about your future. But, of course, since they are not allowed to tell your future, it went to the subconscious and it will be opened at the appropriate time. Okay. Can you also tell me the name of the child? Yes. One moment. Zorin Zinzi. Zorin Zinzi. Great. Zorin Zinzi. Great. Thank you, Dekar. You're welcome. Takur, it's uh, yeah. Shiro again. I have a few more questions. Uh, yes. First of all, uh, like I said before, uh, if you need my DNA, if it's for more hybrid children, if it's for medical for other species, and then I would be yes. gladly donate. We have your DNA on file. And so we do not need any more of it at this time. But thank you very much. We ha do have a good supply. I see. And do you have any more uh, galactic children? I know that I have one hybrid Lyran child. Do you have any more? Not at this time. Do you want more? Um, if it's okay for you and if it's doing some purpose the in your... I will tell Sengi about this pro this uh, desire for you. Potiaka retia Sengi Sengi Wapashigua. I see. And one last question. Uh, can you help me find another infusion after this one? There are several infusions still available. However, we do not know how they will mix with what you have already. This will have to be investigated before anything else can be done. Okay.
Thank you. But there are many species out there willing and wanting to give their infusion to the human uh, part of this earth. But we have not accepted their hybridization programs. They are a little different than what we propose to do. So therefore, we are trying to reorganize so that we can accept some of their DNA. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Thank you very much for all that you do. I did not hear that. Thank you for all that you do, and you're amazing, and we all love you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Takur, and uh, we, we would like to thank question. you again. Oh, okay. You have one in your room. To Angie's question, uh, I'm wondering if you already have a, a, a library of human DNA, can't you put bits and pieces together and get everything you need from that? Why, how large a sample size do you need to be more effective in helping other races? It depends on the race. Uh, some require more DNA in their infusions or inoculations than others. It, it depends on how tolerant they are of the hybridization material. So this is something, we do not take huge samples from each human. We take smaller samples because we want to investigate on each sample uh, what benefits each one has. And so it takes a, it's a very time-consuming experience to be able to label all these different uh, specimens to, to find what we need for the infusion for each specific species. Sometimes inoculations are made for specific people or as or aliens or as you call them and so therefore the different uses for the specimens can be used up uh, quite quickly so therefore we do use a great deal of human humanity to help us with this project because it we are not taking a great deal of DNA when we do it to the first time it would be painful to take a great deal. So we only take very small amounts so that you do not feel it. It causes no pain. And so therefore, a vast amount of people are being used for a, actually a small amount of a DNA infusions. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Therefore, also I want to continue on that thought for one moment. We have discovered that with bringing in several different thousands of uh, uh, specimens from thousands of different people, we find that there is a greater accuracy on how we can develop the, the serums or the infu infusions or inoculations, whatever you want to call them, so that they can be actually much more beneficial to certain species than they would be with just one or two different DNA specimens. Therefore, the labeling and distribution of these different kinds of DNAs is very important. And, and um, it is a beautiful thing that people are allowing us to do so. Of course, we are only taking these things by request at this time. There were species and specimens taken, not species, there were specimens taken without people's request long ago, before we knew you, but it was very rare. We were still learning about the different needs and learning about humans and how, how they can be helpful with their DNA. And it has just come to our attention within the last couple years how very, very influential human DNA is to the galaxy. And so, therefore, we are using it in a greater quantity, of course. Thank you so much, Takur. Your message today has been so helpful to everyone listening. Thank yeah. you. I would like to ask... Would you like someone else to come? We would, and I would like to ask if Sengi is available. Sengi is available, I believe. Oh, it would be wonderful to speak with her today. 
One moment, please. Namaste. Namaste. Bless you. Hello. Greetings. I am Sengi. So nice to meet you, Sengi. Yes. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank Is, you. Are there any messages that you would like to give us? Yes. I am now in charge of hybridization children and hybridization specimens. Those that come to you to take the specimens, I am not necessarily in charge of. They do bring me the information. They do bring me information on what they have done, and I do record it. The recording system of all the hybridizations has changed a little bit since I have been in charge. We have much more documentation. I would like to see much more documentation between humans and their children. If you do have children in the hybridization program, we would like to hear from you and would, we will give you the information as quickly as possible and I will notate that you have been inquiring about your child and what information has been shared. This is helpful to know that the program is moving on in a high integral way. I'm not sure I said that correctly, but I think you understand. We would like to make it a very closed program in the sense that nothing beyond protocol is done. No inappropriateness is actually done any longer. And there has still been some inappropriate sample gatherings and hybrid children creations because people have not been telling the truth about how they got the permission or why they want the children. Now, this will stop. We will have an integral program, and it will be one that is of high standards. The children will be taken care of, and you will know everywhere that they will go, and you will be a part of their education and how they are raised. If you would like to give suggestions for these things, it is very, very much appreciated. We would like them to be aware of their human culture as well as their alien cultures and those species and aliens around them in this world as well. Your input is very valuable. Cultural suggestions are very helpful because they will someday be coming to Earth to visit their human counterparts, although your percentage of the child is much less than that which is conceived by the parents here on this side, it is still a great responsibility that you have given. Much of the time it's between 5 and 12 percent of human DNA that is shown at birth. So therefore it is important that if there is any percentage of humanity shown within the hybridized, hybridized child that you would have some say and it would be very beneficial for you to do so. Are there questions? Yes. Hello Sandy, this is Sheer. Sheer. Greetings. Um, by behalf of all human colony I want to uh, welcome you and thank you for all you do. 
Thank you. I have just begun my mission. It I'm has sure only been a little while since I have taken over this very large responsibility. But already I believe that we have it under control in a much greater way than it was before. Not to say anything against took her or the way it was run before, but she had too many responsibilities and now the program will be a lot tighter and more responsive. I see. Um, first question is about the visitation of us with the hybrid children. How many times yes. do we see them a month or if at all? Well, we come to you. This is another portion that is being set up at this time. We will come to you and ask if you would like to come visit them. We will set you up on a schedule. Now, some people will just ask to see their children out of the clear blue sky, which is fine. If we can accommodate that, we will. But usually scheduling a time for you, people to visit their children, will probably be more beneficial and much more able to be, the information will be able to be tracked better. But if you would like to visit your child at any time, we will do our best to accommodate you. I see. So first of all, any time that I can come, I would would like to come and visit my hybrid child. Um, second and question. And they are most grateful. There, you have to understand also that sometimes the parents are not able to receive at that particular time, and so scheduling makes it much easier for them to know when you are going to visit. I see. Um, next question. If I have hybridizations, a couple of them, and uh, I make a hybrid child, do we, um, does he get the other infusions with the DNA or just the human DNA, only the, the, the human portion? That is up to you. If you decide that you want only human counter a human specimen, then they will remove the other hybridization um, scientifically. Uh, okay. I don't. Usually, we only do human to species hybridization because it's purer that way, and we can get a better result. We can get an understanding of the how well it works together and see a more pure form of a hybrid child. Okay. Thank you very, very much. You are welcome. Okay, Michelle, did you want to ask next? Yes, please. Uh, much yeah. love. Um, I was told by Jakar that I have a hybrid son, Pleiadian, yeah. um, and it happened two years ago, and I'm not even sure that I knew about Gurkfit near two years ago. <laughs> no, they were taking DNA samples from higher vibrational beings even before permission was starting. So, so therefore, who are they? That sample were taken samples of even without their permission two years ago. The program did not start until after that. Um, who are they? The people who who took the samples. Correct. Your child is two years and six months. Now I'm curious who took the samples without my permission. Usually, and it's how? the you yield that gather. Okay. Um, you, we have many gatherers on each of the ships, and, and usually and they is, are you. Is this all Gurk fit near then? It is now. There were samples taken from beyond Gurk fit near at some times, and were given to us so. as gifts in exchange for technology and things of this nature because it was a very great interest to us. We do not do that any longer. So where is my child now? And He's on ERA. He's on ERA? Yes. And, um, well... The I... educational system is taking care of your child. He is beautiful and he is learning very much. 
His interests are in science and biology. And how do I connect with him? You just ask. Okay. And in your astral form, we will take you to visit him and his family. And you can give them instructions. Some have given such instructions that they want the child to be held more or to be given more attention as far as uh, touching or given more cultural information or given um, pictures or information about Earth that they might not have originally wanted the original family may not wanted them to have right away but right. it is part your child and so you can give instructions and they will be obeyed and there, are, there, there may be there may be discussion with the parents however usually usually things are very amicable are his parents Pleiadian or another race they are they are of his, his race family. yeah they are Pleiadian? Yes. Okay. Yes, you're Chupata. Yes. Um, please send them my love. And, yes. Um, I would love to meet with them. Thank you. You are welcome. Please formulate questions for the parents before you go. I will. Thank you. All right, Dan, you had a few questions? Yeah, there are a lot of questions from the group. It's, it's stirred up quite, uh, quite a thing here. Many people are wanting to know if they have hybrid children now. Really, over a dozen people are asking me if they have hybrid children now. And I have don't them write. Know. Have them write to... Write to Jim? Yes. Okay, so Jim can be contacted at jimreiki at gmail.com. Um, I'll post it um, here on the things. Some of the questions about the hybrid program are not going to be able to be approached during this webinar because there are other Correct. things that we need to do, do in the webinar as well. Lengthy, also, do not expect <clears throat> a lengthy answer if there are going to be many inquiries. Yeah, and there are there are so many because uh, it just the whole thing just lit up. I got people coming from all over, and we're we're not going to be able to answer all these questions today. So I would ask the hybrid questions be directed to Jim's email, and Jim will get to them as he does or as he will. It might be a good idea if we have just a separate webinar for maybe those people on those things. That might be it nice. It has been suggested. But um, all but right. Now, so. but there was a. At the time it was suggested, I was just coming into this new responsibility, and so I have not yet been able to get everything under control. But it will be very shortly now that I will be able to do a webinar with some people. That would be awesome, just to give that information out. A quick list of membership. That way. Um, if you possibly give a list of those that have hybrid children that may not know they do and then the rest will know that they don't have one then instead of everybody going do I have one you can just give a list of the ones that do and well, then everybody will have them right to me it would be impossible I do not know the ones that do not know because ah, okay. there because that information is not available to me yet if you do not know if you have a hybrid child Please give me your name so that I can check. If you know that you okay. have a hybrid child, then I can give you information on that child. But there are many children that the parents have not checked on as of this time, probably about 60 or 70. So therefore, I know that some of these children, the, the parents did not give permission. And some are older, of course, at this time. But there are some that are still very young that have not had inquiries from their parents as of yet. So therefore, it would be good if you did inquire and we will give you that response. Then that way, my records will be more complete as well. 
Okay, I see it's being suggested on the side, and this is expanding quite quickly, that we need uh, somewhere on the website to have just a hybrid section that, that deals with uh, this kind of thing so that uh, it can all the information can be found in one place instead of it being all over the place. So that, that would be a nice thing if we could that have That would just, be the responsibility of your side. Yes, we'll handle that. I think we can do something. Thank you, Will, for those ideas. But um, otherwise, it's going to get quite out of hand. But uh, and that's uh, that's all I have for right this moment because it's uh, it's too large well. to handle it this time. If that is all the questions, I will be going for now. Oh, oh hold on one we'll... second. I do have a question. Yes. Oh, this is from Sabrina, and she Sabrina. asks, "What is meant to happen with all these children?" They are. They do have parents, and these children are loved and nurtured by their parents that are in the alien forms, of course, and they are to be brought up to be outstanding citizens of of Gurkfiknir. They are also to be, some of them are to be uh, made into ambassadors to the different worlds and to the United States and different countries on your planet as well. I would hope that you would understand that it is only beneficial that they are being raised. It's not a random thing that they are not going to be taken care of or looked after. However, some have ignored the human portion of the, the hybridization and that is, I, is shameful and we would like to include all those humans that have been part of the hybridization program. It is a wonderful program, and I do, and I sense that you are feeling that it might be irresponsible. Do not feel that way. These children are going to be brought up in a very, very loving and wonderful home, and to be given wonderful tasks, and they have great abilities in, in many cases. So do not be discouraged by that or disparaged by anything. Please keep a positive attitude toward these children. They are not orphans. Okay. Also, um, on that same note, are the humans here who have hybrid children, yes. are, in, are they responsible for those children as well? If they would like to be, of course. They have a great... Uh, responsibility if they want to be that parent. If they were unaware that they gave their DNA for becoming a parent, then they do not have to uh, accept any responsibility. It would be lovely if they did, but they do not have to. Their parents are taking care of those children. Their mother and father in this realm are taking care of those children and if you do not want that child it is alright they still have loving and caring parents oh that's wonderful to know okay um, just letting you know that I'm gonna jump out right now and Sabrina was going to come in because she would like to talk to you personally, if that's okay? Very well. Okay. Is there any other questions while we are waiting? I have a question. If you, yeah. didn't, know, if you didn't know you had a hybrid child and say you um, say you were not interested in having a hybrid child. Correct. Let's say that's the case. Wouldn't the hybrid child know that on some level and feel... It will be explained to the hybrid child that the donation of your DNA was given without permission and that their parents accepted it but were not aware that it, your permission was not given. Therefore, but wouldn't that be... make them feel unloved? No, because they have a set of parents that love them very much. Okay, thanks. You are additional parents. Their hybridization parents are additional. 
far beyond, out and beyond the birth parents. You understand that. Of course, the child will feel usually a greater connection with the birth parents than it does with the hybridized parents. However, there are some strange situations where the hybridized child feels closer to the human parent. Now, um, this is unusual, but it is to be I can expected wait. Go ahead. in some kill cases. Me. I'll wait. That's going to slide off as soon as we turn. You need to I hear someone. Speak. Sorry. Stephanie, can you mute, please? I tried to mute her, but it didn't go through this. Thank you, Neil. Chica pata. Um, yes. Looks like Sabrina's having a little time getting in. The Sandorians are relatively new to church this year, and I don't think we've heard much about you while we're waiting. Could you tell us something about your race and uh, your species? We are a very high species. We are usually in the fifth dimension. The ones that are of us that are working on the ships have come down to the fourth dimension to do the work here, which we find very important. We have uh, sacrifice the fifth dimension for this occupation and are helping in the ships in many different ways engineering scientific uh, advancements uh, creating new thought processes uh, spiritual development uh, advancement of some of the programs that are already in order and we are very welcomed by Grukvik Nir and the Octorian culture that runs and makes the final decisions about things. But therefore, we are here to help humanity as well. Have a question? Yes, Angie. When we want to talk um, or get the information to our hybrid child, do we just say it out loud? Do we do an email? I mean, how? How can I connect with my hybrid child um, without going through the internet? Is there a way I can do that? We are working on ways to, for you to communicate with your child without any um, form of technology. That can be, I mean, on your end. Yes. On our end, there will have to be technology, of course. But we are trying to connect you through vibrational uh, connections through um, translators by giving them a source, a, a communicator that will pick up on your energy signatures and this is not in place yet. But give us some time. We are working on an advancement of the new hybridization program. I was not going to speak about that yet because I'm sure there will be a lot of questions about that. However, since it has already been brought up, there will be a communication system attached to the hybrid child that whenever the hybrid parents or parent speaks, they will be able to get a translation eventually. Thank you very much. This program has not been developed completely yet. But I would like to see that happen, and I would because I think that the connection between human and hybrid child and hybrid child's parents and human is very important. We are wondering how that we could do this also for the parents. We are not. We will have to have some councils on how the parents are to be involved in this process as well. Did yeah. Sabrina make it in? Yes, I'm in. Hello. Very well. Hello. Um, I will first like to make a comment. I know it doesn't refer to you that this happened uh, previous to Takar even, yes. but um, I have to say that the way the DNA was acquired before, I find it very unethical um, that, that this was done before. I, I think that needs to be said because some humans are flabbergasted by this being done. Um, so I, I need to make that note in there that, that, that not everybody... We've already made you aware of what has happened and, and yeah. for what reason. Yeah. Um, 
but it was done. I do not know. I understand that there are people that are not happy about it, but saying something of that nature does not help. Well, but but it it it, it needs to be noted um, because it is the feeling of some people. So let it, them speak to me, and I will help them. So it it needs to be acknowledged. Um, now about the children that nobody knows that they were created because see I remember it, it, it this didn't just happen um, with me but I remember before many people would ask do I have any which means that they didn't know that it had happened so I am glad there is a different now. protocol now than there was then exactly so I'm glad that you're there now and you're tightening how the things are done and that they're done in, in an appropriate way um, and and then the question is yes they have their own parents but the, the issue is that they also have human in them which it's a completely different basket because we are very different um, so though it was done this way you know, to a certain extent, we need to be involved as humans because these children are very different from we humans are very different from most ETs. We tend to have a lot of emotions, and all of this influences, I'm sure, the children. So if they don't have a lot of that, I think it's fine if the the humans are not involved. But if they do, it's almost required that the humans be involved because that needs to be nurtured, it needs to be explained to the children, they need to understand wh how the emotions run and how to get a handle of them. Yes, explain that to your species. Yes. I, that's we can only do what is required at this time. I have taken over this program and I have to deal with it as it is. And I am tightening it up to make it a better program and a more integral program as it is. I see where you, in the past, many things were inappropriate, but now things are different. Now things are more understood. Now things are coming to light, as it were. And we are getting to know your peoples as a beautiful population, whereas before they were not seen as such a respectful group. Do you understand? Yes. So therefore, the things that have happened in the past are in the past, and they will remain there, and there is nothing to do to change that. But we will be working on the future and the present to make it worthwhile for people to have hybridization program, for people to trust us again, for people to want us to be helpful with them. We are trying our best to be a good example at this time of things that you would require of us. We would like to be, they, all the children do have good parents and if the humans want to be involved we cannot force them to be involved but we would very much hope that they would want to be involved with their their child in this in this realm because it would be very helpful to the child of course to learn about their culture, the emotions, the density. Of course they are taught that as well. They are taught about how the cultures and things of the earth are. But if there are specifics that you want them to know, if there are specifics about your culture, that other than the generalities of it that you want them to know, then it is a great idea to get in touch with them to become a part of who they are and be aware and loving of who they are. To share your love with your child is a beautiful and wonderful thing. At this point, we want to look at the future and not at the past. We are sorry for many of the things that have happened in the past. There are many things in the past that aliens have done that are inappropriate. The the abductions, the many, many things, but and there are many apologies out there for that, but it doesn't change the facts. The facts are that it has happened, and the facts are that it is in the past. 
we want to start and direct the future and make it a, a much more beautiful connection, a much more loving and much more happy situation for the for all of those involved. Do you understand that? Yes, I I I understand that, and um, you know the 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 issue being now it's how would you even be able to track the parents of all those children that don't know that they have a child. Um, yes, that is a that is a problem, and we're working on it. Um, and you know that that what was done with me it was recent. It wasn't that far. Yes, away. I know, and that's what I'm saying. There, we are tightening up. We're we're trying to fill in all the gaps that would cause not let anything like this happen again. And we thank you for that because I think it's very important that um, we're treated as equal and that uh, we are we would, and our we will would, our respect. We, we do not want to be appearing to be condescending in any way because you are equal. Okay, thank you. I think Sarah has a question. Thank you for answering my questions. I know you came this into the, in the middle of things, and I know you're only taking over, and you're new to this whole thing, but I do like the way you are doing things and, and how you are timing things and, and the rules and making sure that things are done properly. So I do thank you for that. Thank you very much. I appreciate that vote of confidence because I it is a, a very, very difficult job to fill in all those holes. There are a lot of people out there that are gatherers, but now there is no more gathering being done until there is an official investigation on how things are being done. I have called for that. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Singe. It's Sarah. How are you? Sarah, I am beautiful. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, I have a couple of questions. Um, one being, because of all of this, the questions that we've had all together today, I was wondering at some point, is it possible to have one of the hybrid children of Gert Fignier to be channeled? through Jim so they can tell us what's going on with them and maybe we can you know find out if there's anything necessary that we can speak up about or you know offer any suggestions or things of that nature I think that would be a lovely idea there are yes. many of the children that are very well spoken and that they would One. love to speak to humanity as a whole I do not know if they are prepared to do that today That's however okay. I can have that I can have that done in the future in Very fact well. we should have a particular time when the children should come and just speak to human colony and to the world and let them tell you what their lives are actually like with their parents and with their the visitations of humans and different things of this nature I find that when I do interact with any of the children they have very positive things to say about both sides. Yes. The the reason being, um, like like Sabrina brought up, they have emotions that you guys may not be aware of, simply because they are human emotions. Pardon right? me. I said the re reason being, I wanted to speak with them, and I, I'm sure others would like to speak to those who are on Gurk Fignir or even Era. Um, Believe me, um, because they are exhibiting I think you're breaking up. Very interesting and very enlightening. Very enlightening because it appears that emotion in the fourth dimension that comes out stronger seems to be fueled also thing that is happening. 
I'm, I'm sorry, you were breaking up. I didn't hear the last yeah. part. Ah, is, is this microphone breaking up? No, no it's I think the whole it's the signal. connection. It's it was the, whole the connection. signal. Yeah. Can you repeat the last statement you made? I believe he's froze again. Yes, Maybe I did not. What was the last? What was the question? And I will answer it again. Um, it was more of I. I believe we should speak to them to see what you know what things we can suggest because. Yes, you are breaking up very badly. Okay. Yes. So, um, what was the last statement you made about them speaking with us and you know their upbringing and whatnot? Yes, you are breaking up very badly. I cannot understand. She, she was talking, you were talking about the emotions and what you have learned about oh, yes. the emotions. It appears that uh, they have stronger emotions, the hybrid children, even in fourth dimension because of the human hybridization. And it shows intellect and intuition. It, it comes usually when they, the emotions are the strongest. It appears to come from a sense of intellect, spirituality, and intuition. It's very interesting, and it's a wonderful study at this time. Yes, and if there are any suggestions, maybe we can offer to the parents as well, coming from you know our points of view. So um, You have done so. Many of you have have spoken to the parents and have given your opinions. Some have said, please hold my child more. Some have said, please bring them up in a religious background. There has been that said. And they had to learn a little bit about that religious background to let the child know uh, and uh, give them a sense of what kind of background your human, their human parents are from. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, there have been many suggestions. Even to the idea of food as well. Or, oh, yeah. Um, you know, because we understand a lot of the alien species don't eat. So. <laughs> oh, they, most of them do, but they don't eat like you do. They eat supplements and things that are created for them for the body to be... Um, to synthesize easier and get better muscle tones and better uh, nourishment but uh, it is also flavored but yes they will have them try the flavors of earth as well very that good so it won't be, be such a shock that is not easy for some of them because getting those finding those flavors on other planets is not easy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we will we will give them some of these flavors. We have yes. synthesized many earth flavors. Um, Probably about 300, and 300 or so different normal flavors that earthlings usually eat from different cultures. Yes. And I would like to ask um, at any point, may I be able to meet with you specifically? Yes. Uh, to speak with you. I will be available. Thank you so much for that. I will pass the mic now. Have a wonderful day. You too. Much love. Much love. Hello. Hello. This is Dan. I have yes. a question from Chris. A Chris. She says she has yes. hybrid children. She says, I have hybrid children that she never asked to have. She wants to know how many does she have, where are they, and are they being cared for properly? And I thought this of question course. was relevant at the moment, well, but it's her name is A. Chris in the group, the so thing whatever is, records yes, you have. All, all the hybrid children have regular alien parents, two of them. We made sure that there was always two parents and they are always love, come from loving families. We check these families out before they are put in the hybridization program. You see, they are part of the program. The parents are part of the program. They 
we have to understand what is happening, what may happen, how people will feel, how they must listen and be a part of the instructions of the human parent. They are well cared for, well nourished. Also, the education is also very well done. The highest, the highest forms of education for these children. Now, yes, you may have, I do not know how many, there are 700 Chris's, so I would have to speak to you and know where you are from. But, and I cannot do that right now through this means of communication because I cannot connect to you. But I will let you know that if you have hybrid children, they are being well taken care of. They are being well looked after and loved. These parents are parents that want children and, and are very much interested in hybrid children and very much interested in how beautiful the change they will make to the galaxy. Does that, that make sense? That's wonderful. Yes, I'll have her contact Jim with uh, more information at her location yes, and all of those right. things that are needed. Yes, awesome. Thank you so much. That way I can connect more closely. Okay, if that's all that you have, Dan, then do you have any questions in the room with you there? Can we ask? There should be a site or something specific on the human colony site just for these specific questions. Can you hear her? Not very clearly. Can you hear her talking? Not very clearly. I cannot hear you. She was saying enough. that we need to have a specific place on human colony website where all of this information could be amassed in one place or it could be easily found. It could be addressed uh, quite easily yes. that way what I was saying a little while this ago. Is also, this again. has been suggested earlier right. and that would be a responsibility. Someone on your side should take responsibility and actually do this if that is something that concerns your people. Yes, that way everybody could go to the Human Colony website at humancolony.org. I believe humancolony.org will be the site that most people already have and um, We'll try to get a, a, a hybrid child question section built, and everybody can uh, put their information there so it can be uh, be addressed as it's uh, as it becomes it available. It would be good. I think it would be good if you share the information that you already know about your child on this site, the name, what their interests are, if you know them, what species they are so that it could bring some community to the site as well. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Give some information. Give some communication. Share your love of your child with others. It would be like showing your baby pictures, only with information. And what a wonderful idea. All right, and now if we don't have any more questions, Senge, we would like to thank you so much for coming in today, introducing yourself, and giving us some ideas about what's going on with our hybrid children. Thank Your you. presence today is most appreciated. I appreciate you wanting to speak to me, and that you have such love and care for your children that you would want to speak to me. Thank you very much, and I hope to meet many of you in the future and hear how you love your hybrid children and how you are getting along with their families. This would be a lovely thing for me to put into the records. And do you know any blessings you might give us before you leave? Oh, I have a Fendorian blessing I, that I use for the children when I wake up in the morning. It is my, Fendor, my hybrid children blessing, I call it, because it is the one that I say in the morning to help all the children out there to have a more wonderful day. I will give it to you now. Just a moment. Mukitia, 
Minha Anshu Putu Puti Ao. It says, wake up and be wonderful. Wake up to the new light of day. Be happy and learn all the things that you need to know. And I send you blessing, energy, healing, and love. Be well. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. It was wonderful to meet you today. It, it was wonderful to be here. Thank you so much. Sipper, and I know I will speak to you again. Can I say something here, please? Yes. Uh, um, on that note, I like to say that I was with mine last night, and he was Wonderful. learning to do something. I don't remember what Leonardo was learning. Um, but he was like, I left him to do it, and he he seemed apprehensive about it. And then he, he seemed said, what? Oh, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Some children. <laughs> Yes. Your children are beautiful, and you will love them both, I'm sure. So, I, I remember that from last night. Wonderful. I'm so glad. And it is recorded. So, yes. I wanted to leave it on a bright note. Wonderful. I am so happy for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. I will be going now. I know nothing about your earth time. Do you want another person to come? Yes, please, if one is available for the, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. One moment, please. I'll see if there's anyone waiting. <laughs> we were kind it of hoping. So to you. Oh, thank you for coming. We were kind of hoping that Ken Jean would be available because he has some important information as well. Ah, yes, let me see if he's there. This is Ken Jean. I come to you from Rajili Kent, also known as Alpha Centauri. I'm in a conference. I understand that you wanted to speak to me. The information from this conference is important. I am not sure why you were being called forward. Several have been asking for you. I know, uh, Sabrina, do you have, uh, are you handy? Is there a reason? Oh. Did they Sabrina. think that I had a message for them? I do have one message, and that is the this council that I am represent, re representing or speaking at is bringing together seven different councils. They are very concerned about the treatment of the hybrid children because they many were not given permission to have hybrid children. It is about these kinds of facts. And as I am understanding, things are being changed. However, at the present time, there are other species that are not cooperating with the hybridization programs and therefore this is a concern because although Grkvik Nir is doing their best to connect all the dots so to speak there are other species that are randomly taking specimens still the Galactic Federation will be stopping them when caught however they have not all been caught at this time. Penalties will be severe. They will not be able to enter Earth atmosphere and some will be kicked away from the solar system. Put away from, I don't know what the word kick, put away from the solar system. But it will be 
a time where things must be integral, especially with the hybridization programs and the abductions must stop completely. Now, another thing that is being discussed at this council is the first contact. There is some concern that there are several different ideas of how to contact the Earth initially in a friendly and beautiful way, but no one seems to agree what that is. The only thing that there is in agreement is that there must be humans that come along with the aliens species to help to break the fear patterns. But it is not going to result in peaceful, a peaceful and most loving first contact as far as most species are concerned. They feel that there is still going to be fearful and traumatic outcomes. One outcome is that the religions of the world, which they are concerned about anyway, will not come into agreement with having them around, seeing them as a negative energy, destroying their belief system. And so therefore this has to be met ahead of time before first contact comes. This information that uh, aliens are not evil or not there to destroy anything must be brought about in a way that all can understand. At this point that has not been done. There have been some inroads made but they are not complete and they are not strong enough to handle a first contact event. So therefore, the discussions here with the seven councils have been very strong. Are there questions? Yes. Hello, Your Majesty. How are you? This is Shiu. Shiu. Continue. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, come with you if you're going to come to the Earth. I'm volunteering gladly to do so. Very well. That will be helpful. Human involvement is needed. We have many that have volunteered to come with us, and many are qualified. But that is not the main issue. Right now the main issue is the belief systems of your planet, the fear quantitations, I'm not sure if that's the right word, the, they are very fearful of any outsiders coming to the planet. They fear that they are there to take over or invade or destroy something personal to them. This is not any of our goals, as you know, except for some of the negative non-humanoids. There are a couple humanoids also that are not so good either, but they are not involved at the moment. But we are not coming to do anything of that sort. But the very fact that we will be arriving at some point will cause damage to belief systems, will cause fear, and will cause problems. But it must happen at some point so that things can move forward. In time, it will be learned who we really are and what we really want. And that is your friendship and your involvement in the galactic works. We will be trading and we will be just a part of your everyday lives, as it were. We are not here to take over your governments. We are not here to make our beliefs your beliefs. No, we are just here to be your neighbors, your friends, your allies. 
So, first contact is a very big concern, and they are very worried that it could affect the timeline in negative ways. We are working on how this can be done without negative results. It is so much a part of change that negativity and positivity are experienced during strong changes in cultural and world events. You understand what I'm saying. There can be very positive changes and very negative changes also because of belief systems and understandings and suspicions, doubts, and all of these things. The information can never be given clearly enough to make everyone believe the same way. And it never can be that way because each individual is unique. So therefore, we are working on the best scenario. And we know that Gurk Fichtnir is working with this also. The results of these councils will be given to many of the other alliances that are around and are working with Grukvik Nir and their other friends. Let's say that. Are there any questions? Yeah, it's not only a question, that was more of a statement. Continue. Um, well, I just want to say uh, I send you my love, Brother Kenjing. Um, I, you are probably like you know so busy that you probably like didn't um, pick up on it. But I just actually wanted to apologise to you uh, because uh, when I was at that council meeting, the thing that I done uh, it wasn't really me. So I just wanted to kind of just say like. You know, sorry. We detected who it was, and we know who you are. So no apology is necessary. You are fine. We appreciate that you want all to be well, and that is what it will be. Thank you for your concern. Uh, thank you for forgiving me, because, like, you know... I, I hope everyone realized that that meeting, that's not the way the majority of humanity acts. I understand. We are well aware of who you are and your wisdom, and that you are someone of great value. We do not hold anything against you, and we knew that it was not you. Well, thank you. I just wanted to, like, uh, apologize to you, like, God, talking to a conjurer, because... You know, it just makes me feel that bit much better because, you know, like I knew it wasn't me and it was explained to me and, you know, I, I just like, you know, I feel like I should be punished somehow because, you know, when it I'm It is on already planet, forgotten. Do not yeah. worry about it any longer. It is forgotten and erased. Continue, and you are going to rise up even stronger. So thank you for your apology, but it all, is all been stricken from the record, and you are forgiven. Uh, thank you so much. That, that means uh, a lot to me, that does. Very well. Are there any other questions? Hello, Kenjin. This is Sabrina. Yes. Hi. Um, I have a Hello. few questions on what you spoke of. Uh, first of all, about the hybrid children that are brought to ERA. Um, how is that handled in terms of uh, making sure that the children are being well cared for and that their, their um, emotional side is being addressed and, and all of these matters? I know they are with their parents. Some may work during the day, but they will go to some places called nurseries. And they will only stay there for only several hours a day. And their parents will take care of them when they are available. Sometimes only one parent is available, just like on your planet. However, they are very well kept. Grukvik Nir is 
the manager of all these different nurseries. I may be the king of the planet, but I have given them jurisdiction over the hybridization program and the children that are here. And so they look in on these programs and make sure they're running properly. I myself have looked in on these programs and found them to be most beautiful in many ways. The parents that they have chosen for these children are very responsive and very beautiful. So you need not worry about that. They're, they are being taken care of and educated in a very wonderful way. I myself have written up a couple different curriculums about the history of ERA and also adding to that we have also added courses with the hybridization children, uh, courses on history of Earth from their section of, from where their parents are from in the Earth realm. Okay. Um, what happened with, with the colonies that, that, that you have? They're still working, but they are more exclusive. We made an agreement with of uh, Grukvik near that our colonies would only take certain people. The, the ones that are asking for specific training and specific um, knowledges. And so therefore our colonies are not a shadow colony any longer. They are, they are more exclusive in the sense that they do different kinds of training other than just the uh, telepathic and the channeling and th there is no video colony on our we have no video colony we do have some exercise and health colonies but there is there's fewer of them and they are more specified to, to more specific training. If you would like to know what that trainings, those trainings are, I could give you a list of them later. Okay. They are not secret. All right. But there are not, not everyone is permitted to go there because not everyone has a vibration high enough to enter these, this level of training. We are, in, we are basically the higher educational form of the colonies. All right. And then on the note of first contact, um, what was the feeling of the other members in the group in terms, because I understand the, 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 the issue with the religious um, people, but as you said, um, I don't know that we can't change I them. So how do we work around that? Well, at this point, this is I can give you the consensus of some of the people in the council. There are seven councils, and there are, there's quite a few in each council. But there is one particular council that says there will never be enough time to give your people enough time to accept all things. Go in now and have it change immediately and have it, have the, have it all do what it's going to do right away because the sooner the better. Now, there are other people in other councils that agree with that and that seems to be the, the strongest view at this time, just go in and and have, have first contact. However, the only problem with that scenario is that the government, your governments, have got to have a heads up on that. And if they do not agree with it, and we do it anyway, there will be trouble. So um, that scenario seems the most logical, however, compared to the other different ones as waiting and trying to educate. It could be a, a century before your people are ready by education. So it is not logical that some of these other scenarios are even looked at. But this one, the direct, the direct approach is actually most logical, but yet there are still many arguments against it. Okay, 
Um, now, on that note, couldn't it be done and it be restricted to only certain countries that would agree to it and the other countries would have to agree that, okay, we will stay hands off, just don't come here, and then the countries that agree with it, if people want to go there to meet with the aliens, they can. Yes, we have discussed that as well. There are certain countries that are open to a an alien uh, first contact. And we see that that could be a possibility, a way to get around some of the hostility. However, with uh, the knowledge that we have is that these aliens would be attacked from other countries. Um, and so that we have to make sure that that does not happen. We can stop it, but the way that we would stop it would would not be acceptable to some of the protocols of your people. Okay. Now, how does that take into account um, the the ETs that don't want this to happen? Oh, they are always they are always been there forever, and therefore they will try to stop us. But we are more powerful, and these councils have the means by which to overcome them, at least at this point, as far as our intelligence is concerned about these uh, particular species. Yes, they are advanced in human, from human standards, but they are not advanced from all standards. Okay, because, you know, as I understand it, they are also influencing some of the politicians. So in other words, you might never get them all to agree to this. Yes, that is true. We have, that is part of all the conversation that is here. There are so many bits and pieces of conversation that move directly into your world that it is it is hard to cover them all in one sitting. It's taken days for us to get over the material that we have done so far and there's still very little agreement about what should be done about several different things. We've had to move on just to cover the material and give people time to think about uh, the the subjects that have been brought up. There's only been a couple things that actually the the councils have agreed on. So it is a very dire situation in some ways. We must make some decisions rather quickly, but we do not want to be um, uneducated or unprepared for the response. Yeah, because because I, I I would think that at some point you just you gotta have you make a decision and then you have a backup plan. So should X or Y? Happen? Well, there is a backup plan, but the thing is about a backup plan. Your your countries also have backup plans. We're not sure what they are. What is your backup plan? If we come down to make first contact. What is your initial plan? And if we counteract that initial plan, what is your backup plan? And if it is something devastating, then we are not willing to take that chance. You could destroy yourself and your timeline. Okay. I understand. Um, yeah, it, it is... Uh, uh, difficult because there are many variables here many unknowns so and very many you have three very powerful secret societies on your planet and they run much of the manipulation of your world and are in governments and high business and societies that are very influential and so these these also are a concern, not just the, po the normal politics of your world and the normal everyday societal infractions and things of that nature, but also the secret societies that have power that reach beyond your planet that are trying to stop these things t from happening. What means of uh, at attack do they have? What we, we know some of them, but they are it's questionable that we know everything about them 
we would like to know we would like to learn more before we do anything and there has been forthcoming information about some of them that has been very helpful but uh, we cannot share that of course but we do want to share that the more we learn about the secret societies of your planet the better off we are as well okay so if, if if there was one thing that would help sway things in one direction or another or a particular country agreeing to it, what would it be? The one thing that affects our whole our whole procedures, all the way that we're moving is your timeline. It is possible that if we move just a fraction too soon or a fraction too late the timeline could be in question and that is n not acceptable um, Your Majesty if you will come and tell the people that the existence of extraterrestrials doesn't mean that God doesn't exist because even according to the Bible and some people from the church they are saying God made everything and it's very possible to have another life so if you use their weapon against them, so sort of speaking, that could help. For the last 50 years, your media has portrayed aliens as evil attackers and male malevolent beings. It is hard to dissuade that focus in just a few words or by saying letting them know that we believe in God they may not even believe that they believe that we are manipulative and that we will say anything to get what we want because that's what humans are like and so yes. that's what they think we are going to be like and so therefore getting around those particular aspects of humanity is not going to be easy I see, but this is the only thing that's stopping you, or this is only one factor? It's, not it's only one. one factor, yes. The religious portion is only one factor. It makes up about 32% of our concern, so which is there, there is much more concern than just the religious. And the because your planet is covered uh, with mostly a one-god belief system, as in Christianity and Muslim and Jewish traditions that makes up most of religious beliefs on your planet and that is a one God format so they would be the ones that we would have to deal with I see okay thank you very much uh, you're welcome thank you Thank you, Ken Jean, uh, for answering my questions. Uh, I think that was very helpful, and I, and I think it helps humans to be aware that that these 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 um, councils, these meetings are being done, and and what is happening in there. Because I think a lot of times we go up without knowing all of this, and that you're trying to uh, come up with a solution for this. So it would be helpful if maybe every so often, couple of months, you could give us an update on what is happening with this. Um, it will be done then. If you would like to be put in communication with these thought processes. Yeah. There is not a meeting every month, though. This is one of a quarterly meeting that happens every three of your Earth months. But actually, it's more like three and a half of your earth months. Yeah, so even if... So therefore, um, it, it, it does not happen. Getting this many people together is not easy. There are seven councils from seven different areas. Some are from Sirius, some are Pleiadian. You understand. They come from different areas, and we meet in Alpha Centauri, or Regili Kent, as some prefer. So therefore, um, we are from all over the galaxy and in some of these councils there are people from even other galaxies looking in on this so we are it is a big and very important informational exchange okay yeah cuz it it's it is helpful so if, um, i mean if you would 
whatever you, you can. Um, give me the information, I could pass it on, or if you could come. Uh, however you want to do it would be fine, just so that we have the awareness that this is happening. Uh, and we know we're Very well. Um, I also want to... There is a question. Oh. Just say hello Continue. from... Um, uh, from Liney and that she has sent you a message. That was my last day. Greetings and great... Uh, I am very grateful that you have sent it along. And yes, I will be in contact with her. Okay, thank you. I have a question. I, um, I channeled somebody from a council a couple days ago. Um, they didn't say who they were or where they were from. I'm just wondering if you have any, like, if you know who it was. Were they from this council, these councils? I, I don't know. He, he just said he was from the council. I believe that the councils, there are seven councils here. And if he is from the council, then perhaps he is speaking of, at large about the councils altogether. I will find out for you, but I do not know at this moment who that is. Thank you. you are welcome. It is time for me to return. I am one of the main speakers at these councils, and I preside on three different days, and tomorrow is one of these days, and I must pre prepare for it. Okay, we did have one more question. If you don't have time, that's okay. No, continue. I will answer one more. Okay, Neil, go ahead. Neil, I do not hear you. Okay, something must have happened with his microphone. Sorry we will for speak that. later. It was okay. probably a necessity to block him. Thank you for listening. Yes, thank you for coming today. Thank you for the information. And thank you for blessing us with your presence. We so appreciate yes. every all your time and patience. Much love. Thank you. Anani Kokosha. Hello. Oh, welcome back, Hi. Jim. Hi, how is everybody? Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for bringing in Senji, uh, Kenjin, Takur. It thank was a you. wonderful, wonderful webinar. And I'm sure oh, you're thank thirsty you. and tired. Um, oh, I'm thirsty, yes. <laughs> we can move into the blessings now if anyone would like to start and volunteer. We'd appreciate that. All right, who would like to volunteer to give a blessing? Moi. Excellent. Me too. Very good. Okay, go ahead, Sarah.
in the vast realms of the universe we see many many species we pray that your earth comes to an understanding that we are not all bad and that we can help and be friends that we are truly creations of God just as you are that we truly believe that we can be friends and that we can communicate in a way that will bring us into understanding and unite the universe in a way that it has not been done before at least for your people thank you so much for your movement in understanding and that your belief in God is strong be well and we will be here to help you prosper and understand the words of the Spirit. Namaste. Yes. Toyolom Maria Scanto no suru a la catio co. No you colom rosca a Maria Scia tata. E io no suru ololuan daria coto. Tayala narasca to un torua la tassion to a tata. E io olonoroku canarascario tu. Tayana scario tu. E ya anafta. Urua la scatuan tata. There are many changes coming to your earth and many will be hard difficult times but we know that you will live through them and gain understanding from them we are not coming to be a menace to you but to enlighten you and bring you into a fuller understanding of spirit and love and fellowship and community let us work together Reach out your arms to us so that we may embrace you and not shun you. You, you want to have community in your hearts, but you cannot see with your eyes beyond our faces. Look into our hearts as well and know that we are giving of ourselves to build a life for you and not to destroy it. I'll do your blessing as well, if that's all right. Yes, Leo, go ahead. Sho yawata ka yawe sete yoru lu turutu u kushua ha yawana ka aya sataye erete neki asatao. Uluturu Uyasha Shataka Ahaya Nawa Wuru Lushi. The time is now. You must act quickly if you want to save yourselves. You are at a time of watershed, meaning that it could go either way. We are here to tell you that we will help you to move quickly into a greater new discovery into the light, into the wonder of the future. We are not here to hold you back. We are here to open your eyes. I have one more from the insectoids, I believe. Ask, 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 ask,
There are things on your well that teaches us how to be wiser, how to be more understanding and sensitive. It is not that we want to be overbearing or to hurt people, but we want to communicate. We want to be a part. We have sent ourselves into your world to make friends. However, it is not always that our people have been looked upon as friendly people, but we have made some mistakes, and we have become part of things that we should not be part of. Now it is a time for us to clarify, clarify who we are and what we mean to do. That will come in time. But we do send love and blessings at this moment. Be well. Okay, Dan, did you have any announcements for us today? Yes, I do, but let's bring Jim back clearly and see if... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You need a drink there, Jim? Uh, of course. Sorry Hi, about that, Jim. <laughs> Get something to, eat, to drink there and then we don't we'll know let what's you in relax. Bottle, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what's in this bottle. Maybe in the coffee. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, it's, it's water. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, getting thank you, Jim, perfectly for great Reiki water. Oh it's, my God! Yeah, Reiki channeling really water. That being really wanted out. He wanted to speak. Ooh. Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> Niels was very powerful as well. Very strong words, wordings. Yeah, thanks um, for the translation, Jim. What? I that. I say, thank oh, no you for problem. the translation. Thank you. Oh no, he's very strong wording. He was very strong. He wanted to make sure that it came across strong. Mm -hmm. So that was good. All right, I love you all, and yes, thank you for being here today. Yes, it sounded very strong. Jim, yeah, will you be I, here next yes, week? Yes, speaking of strong, let's let's go to Dan and see if we have any announcements coming up. Well, I, as, I just want to know if Jim's going to be here next week. Yes, as far as I know, I, I will be. Also, I have a program on Sunday, tomorrow at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, on Google Hangouts with... Um, uh, Elena Kapolnik and a couple others, uh, Susie and Max, and it's going to be a two-hour long um, roundtable and where we'll dis be discussing all kinds of things and having all kinds of views. And it should be very interesting because uh, there are several different views going to be shown at this roundtable and it should be very interesting. So, uh, But it is going to be on Google Hangouts and probably go right to YouTube afterwards, but it's going to be a, called a round table. So look for that on Google Hangouts. I she sent me some information on it, but I haven't had time to look at it yet. So uh, this is to let if P, if you want to know exactly where to go or whatever, send me an email and I will I do have the information. Or uh, those of you that have my telephone number can call me. Why don't I help you post it? Okay, that we're just posted. Yeah, we'll just post it where we post yeah, it. Everybody, everybody send yeah. messages. We'll so. post it on Human Colony and Google Plus for tomorrow. It should be really cool. It's four, uh, two hours long, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Alrighty. if I wanted to also say something. I, I feel that it is time for some of you to come out of your shell and do some channeling. And if if you would like to have a, a half an hour or 15 minutes or hour block on the webinar on Saturday, please let us know if you are ready for that. If you feel that you are ready to channel and if there are some messages that need to come across, if you feel this burning in your heart, because I know that some of you have uh, beings that have messages and spirits that have messages. so. Therefore, please do not hesitate to let us know. I am not here to be king of the webinar. I am here to uh, bring messages across and let messages be told that need humanity need to hear. So if you are part of that, let me know. So that, I'm just throwing that out there for everyone to hear. I think that's a great idea. I can see in my mind right now a sharing webinar whereas we have 
all the channels, people that would like to take a turn channeling, lined up and taking turns and sharing the time. And uh, that would I be think that would be quite, idea. yes. It would be I a wonderful be. channel mm -hmm. session because there are some people that when they come through you, when they come through me, there are they take on my personality a little bit, they take on my language, they use my words. When they come through you, they'll use all the things that are a part of you. And um, sometimes that can get through to people better than, you know, we all have our own people that we can get through to. And so when you speak, you will be reaching a whole new set of people. And that will help the world to grow. I agree with that. It will help us to grow into our own channeling as well, to know that um, it can happen to right. anyone at any time. So be ready and to embrace Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And there's so many of you out there ready to channel. And there are so many that are channeling and now fine-tuning their craft, uh, like a day and Ivan and, you know, Sabrina yeah. and Safira and... Uh, Many out there that are just Sarah, not have yes, had the opportunity to speak yet, and they need that format, and and I welcome that. If they feel that they are ready, then I am I welcome them because only they know if they are ready. I cannot judge. I'm not going to be a judge of who's ready and who's not at this time. I was punished for that once before, so. Um, I'm not a judge. So if you feel that you are ready, please come. Thank you, Jim. Great. Thank That's you, Valerie. Right. Thank you, everybody. I would like to remind everybody that the um, the retreat, ah, the Solstice Retreat, ah, coming yeah. in five weeks. Five weeks. Um, I'm going. I'd like to see all of you there. <laughs> June 18th to the 22nd in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Be there or be square. Or be there in spirit. Yeah, there you go. Sure. Actually, I'll be there from the 17th to the 21st. I we have to leave a day early, so we're we're coming a day early and we're leaving a day early. So. Yes, the, the travel days are the day before and the day after, but we'll be there from the 18th to the 22nd. Yeah, Christine will be there in spirit. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, this has been a, a hookalo webinar. Yeah. Very interesting. All kinds of good information. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Uh, yeah, stay tuned to next week when there'll be more stuff. Yeah, all righty. And thank you. And blessings to everyone. And I'm going to go off live. Thank you all. George, do